How do you write a thesis statement for a research paper? In this lesson, you will learn how to write a research thesis statement by restating your big research question in a complete sentence. Let's review. The steps in preparing to write are number one, researching a topic, which we've already done by reading lots of articles on the Civil War and taking notes and getting prepared. Second, generate a big research question, which for us is how did mistakes cause some battles of the Civil War to begin? Then, you're going to write a, your thesis statement. And finally, you'll outline your essay. We are currently on step three in this process. We're getting ready to write our thesis statement. A common mistake that many readers, many writers make is not to have a thesis statement at all. And this is actually kind of like taking a picture that's out of focus. Without a thesis statement, your reader won't really know what big picture you're trying to get across or what you're trying to teach them. And so by including a thesis statement, you'll allow your reader to see the big picture more clearly. So in order to write a thesis statement, you'll follow these steps. First, review your big research question. Then restate the question as a complete sentence. And finally, ask yourself, am I teaching others something new? So I want you to watch me as I go through these steps in creating my research thesis statement. So first, review your big research question. That's easy. My research question was, how did mistakes cause some battles of the Civil War to begin? OK. The second step is, restate the question as a complete sentence. So I'm going to go ahead and take a look again at my research question. And I'm going to say, OK, how did mistakes cause some battles of the Civil War to begin? OK, so what information do I want to show back up in my complete sentence here, in my thesis statement? Well, I know that I want, hmm, I'm asking myself this question over and over again. Which information will show back up in my answer? Well, I know that I want some battles of the Civil War to be back in my answer. That's important that I talk about battles. But I also know that I want to talk about this mistakes and, and how mistakes caused some battles. And I also know that I don't want my statement to be a question. So the first thing I can do is actually crossing off the question words and the question mark because it's no longer a question, it's a statement. OK, so let's see. Let me think here. Some battles of the Civil War, mistakes, cause. Some battles of the Civil War, mistakes, cause. OK. Oh, I think actually I could probably take the some battles of the Civil War and put it first, take mistakes cause and put it second, and actually flip that sentence to make it a complete sentence. So let's see what I have here. I could say something like, some battles of the Civil War were caused by mistakes. Perfect. So I took away the question words, the question mark, and I just flipped that sentence to make it complete. OK, so my third step is to ask myself, am I teaching others something new? So I'm looking again at my thesis statement that I just came up with. Some battles of the Civil War were caused by mistakes. And well, am I teaching others something new? I guess another way to say that might be, do only a few people already know this information? Well, let me think for a second. OK, so before I started researching this, all I really knew about the Civil War was that it was a big war between the North and the South of the United States over slavery. And in the end, the North won, and so slavery ended. I had no idea that there were battles. I had no idea that there were mistakes that caused those battles. And I'm pretty sure that I think a lot of other people in my class were in the same boat as me. So am I teaching others something new? Yeah, I really think that this is new information. And do only a few people already know this information? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that only a few people know this. So I can answer yes to both those questions. I think I have a high quality thesis statement. So in order to review the steps that we just took to create a thesis statement, first, review your big research question. Then, restate the question as a complete sentence. And finally, ask yourself, am I teaching others something new? In this lesson, you have learned how to write a research thesis statement by restating your big research question in a complete sentence.